everybody, welcome back to another video. Um, so today I'm back with my Degusta Box haul. Um, I've not looked what's in here yet, I've just opened it up. Um, because my partner scribbled black ink all over the top and it's going all over my hands. So I had to get it open up. Um, but yeah, I wasn't actually expecting this box today. Um, it, for some reason I was really worrying because it didn't have the tracking information as it usually does. Um, but yeah, luckily we managed to get it. Um, so I'll just go through my usual monthly box. So if anyone doesn't know what a deposit box is, I feel like most people would know. But um, it's a subscription box here in the UK for the food service. And um, this is twelve ninety nine a month, which I pay for with my own money. Um, but yeah, I like to. It. It's just a little treat every single month. Um, but yeah, we'll just jump straight through into it. Sorry if I play with my hair a lot. I'm really really sweaty <laughs> um it's quite hot here in the uk we say that but it's only like 27 degrees but as we don't have like air con in our houses um not unless i've got black ink all over it all. um yeah so it's really hot inside unless you get a fan which i've not managed to go out and get a fan yet but <laughs> um so god knows what i'm gonna suffer when it's like 40 degrees but yeah, I just actually saw something. My friend actually, he got me this. It's not part of my, this box, obviously. Um, but he got it me off a Facebook group. But I'm sorry, I don't know where it, you can get them from in that. But he got me this cute little um, stitch purse, which I'm pretty sure is homemade. Because there's no label or anything inside. And it feels, it feels like a homemade that kind of rough material you get. Um... And you can tell like it's obviously been hand stitched up the side and it's got like a little mirror inserted so i'm pretty sure this is homemade um so yeah i'm really pleased about that but anyway what we're actually here for um so that's a little price list which we go through so oh it looks quite exciting this one um, so the first one we've got are these two crisps. These are what we've got. We've got a chili and honey tortilla crisps. I've never seen these before. Um, it's by this brand. Man Mano Massa? I don't know. <laughs> it's got coriander and green lentils in them. So they look really nice to try actually. I can actually try these because these are a pound each. I'll just show you the other ones that we've got. We've got the uh, red pepper and manchego cheese, green olive. What kind of crisps are these? Oh, they're tortillas as well. They just look quite the square shaped ones. So that's the cheese and green olive. I've never, I've never actually seen these before. So these are one pound each available at Sainsbury's, Waitrose, and that. You should get two in your box. Um, so yeah, they're the in flavours you'll, you'll get if you get this box. Um, so we'll give those a try actually, shall we? Open it back. If I can open it. Oh, good. So which one? This is the chili and honey. Oh no, they're not. They're like hexagon. Hexagon one. They're quite nice. They taste like. I wouldn't say chili and honey. It tastes more like rosemary. Does it have rosemary? No, coriander. slightly taste the chilli, they're slightly spicy but they're quite nice. I feel like they would go nice with cheese on top. They taste more like chilli and rosemary. I'm getting a slight kick at the back of my throat now but no, they're nice. Um, I'm drink. So these are the olive and pepper and cheese ones. Yeah, 
yeah so they're like rectangle shaped ones mm. oh they're really nice i can taste the cheese i, I like cheese flavored stuff more so i do like it. Yeah, I really like those. I'll definitely buy those again if I saw them. Um, something mm. so like and cheese. I just like cheese and olives and like Mediterranean kind of food. Yeah, I do prefer those ones to them ones, but they're still equally nice. Them. So then we've got a two drinks here. We've got a Rio Tropical Orange. What's this? Olive Gugava. Oh, I can't pronounce it. <laughs> Apricot, mango and passion fruit sparkling water. I'm not a massive fan of sparkling water drinks. These are 85p but you do tend to get sparkling water drinks a lot in the Gusta box so just be with that aware. Um, then we've got, so I've got that drink. Um, so I'll just put that over there. Then we've got a two two brooks craft hands salty i can't pronounce that um passion star sparkling water with alcohol and a twist of passion fruit i feel like i'm not gonna like this again sparkling water because these are more like the spirit kind of or gin type thing it's like you wouldn't believe but um, with the Gusta box and that, you kind of get a lot of um, gin flavoured mixes and that and obviously Asda uh, delivered me a bottle of gin that I never paid for once so I've still got that. I have a lot of gin stuff, like I could open my own bar but <laughs> I don't like it <laughs> so it's just sat there. <laughs> I'll probably have to give it away at Christmas or something like that if I can find anyone that likes those kind of things but yeah, I've got that. Um, so this is passion fruit. But I don't know. Can someone let me know? Can I drink that on my own, or do I have to put it with gin? I don't know. I'm assuming I can drink it. Just I keep thinking it's like a spritzer drink, but I can't work it out. So we've got that. So that is. So you can either get the passion star one or the mango one, which this is two pound in your box um i'm pretty sure i can just drink this i don't have to mix it with those so we'll try that and then we've got these rivita fins rivita fins never had these as well these are rosemary and sea salt um because i've never really had these things i guess by the looks of the picture you said it was sour cream there's a lot of kind of summery Mediterranean theme going on. Um, I guess you could serve these with like cheese and ham on top or something like that. It's not something I'd usually buy, so they're £2.20 a box. That's quite expensive. I feel like you could probably get a cheaper alternative in Aldi or something. Um, but yeah, I got that. It just says pair with your favourite dip and then go get Duncan. <laughs> They're at Tesco and Sainsbury's. So, yeah, they'll be worth my try. And then I'm quite curious to find out what's in here. So, shall we? <laughs> we'll open this up. Wait, what is it? It's massive. What is that? What is it? Sparkling rhubarb. What is it? Don't shake, rotate. I'm supposed to like, I don't know. <laughs> Crisp pressed apples blended with finest rhubarb and a little, is it just literally sparkling rhubarb drink? Sparkling juice fruit made with pressed apple and rhubarb juices. Has anyone ever seen this before? And it's only 29 calories per 125 ml. 
I've never seen that in my whole life. But it looks like that. It's a big bottle, it's 750 mils. So that's quite impressive actually. I don't have a cup to try it actually right now. So that's £3.50 and you either get that one or you'll get the elderflower lemonade. Glad I got rhubarb. I do like rhubarb flavoured stuff so I actually think I would quite like this. And it's got like, I don't know if you can see, you probably know you can't. <laughs> but it's got like, I think it's made from like actual rhubarb, it's got rhubarb pieces floating in the bottom. And that you can't really see on camera. Yeah, so that is very something different than what we usually get. So there's that. Ooh. Then we've got a pack of peppermint gums. Um, just a pack of. Well, I guess they're no sugar-free mints, aren't they? They're not gum. Sorry, mint ones. I've never had these. Um, my mum actually she always carries um mints around in her purse. She's done it forever. This is. One pound fifty. Um, got a. Well, no, it's quite interesting. This box. <laughs> um, what is this? Pitted green olives with garlic and basil. Ooh. I do like olives. I'm actually making salads for um, lunches today, so I'm going to put these on top actually. So I'll definitely be able to try them today. Um, garlic and basil juicy green olives. I'll try and show you a picture of the salad once I've done kind of put these on top. Um, so they're one pound fifty for that little pouch there. Um, the olives of the future they're called dressed <laughs> dressed in um, basil marinade. So yeah, we've got those. That would be interesting to try. And then we have what have we got forest feast salt and vinegar nut mix with um, cider vinegar. They look really nice. Um, they're forty grams in there. They are one pound twenty five on Amazon, the Costco and Sainsbury's. So it's a little packet. I think that's bad for, for one twenty five actually because usually nuts are quite expensive. We'll just try we'll try one of these ones. If I can get in this pack. Which I can't. They're not like strong. Mm. And it says you can get almonds, pecans, jumbo pumpkin seeds in there. And they're quite nice. Little nut snack packs, so I do like those. Now there's something I'd purchase as like a snack and that that I can take to work and that. Then we've got some more bars um i was gonna say i had some in the cupboard but i think i ate the ones i had last time so get yeah, protein bars these are the naked brand i've never had this brand before this is peanut butter flavor and um, so i'll be having that one because my partner doesn't like peanut butter and then we've got a chocolate hazelnut one which i'm guessing he can have um their little protein protein bars um which i'll probably need to start using i actually bought um an exercise bike <laughs> and try and exercise more and I used it once and I think I I can still use it but the chain like makes this clunking sound when it goes around so I think I've already broke it <laughs> um, but my friend's gonna come around and hopefully fix the chain on it so that is these are 125 from major supermarkets and so my like normal shopping been buying a lot more bars and stuff to try and put down on crisp kind of thing so got that and then we've got this is another I have loads of sauces um oh this is the 
I've used this on my salad today. The Hellman's Real Thousand Island dressing and dip made with real red pepper and tomato. It's a Hellman's one. I was actually looking at this online when I was doing my food shopping and I nearly got it actually. So it's a good thing. So this is £2.60 but I have seen this on offer at Sainsbury's for like £2 um, and sometimes it goes to one fifty. I'm pretty sure. So I think that's just the full price it's telling me on here. But yeah, that's the salad dressing. So I can show you that on my salads. So I just want to quickly show you the salads that I made. Um, I've used the rhubarb drink at the back. Um, it wasn't quite enough to fill each cup up, but you only get like about three glasses um, from that rhubarb drink. It was actually quite nice. And then I've just made some uh, mixed salads and I've used the... Um, tortilla chips we got in the packet from the degusta box and i put in the um green olives which i'm trying to dig out <laughs> um yeah i wasn't actually a fan of those olives though um they were a bit too soggy i like my olives um a bit more crunchy but yeah i managed to use a few bits from the box today i've had this before in a box the crazy sour skittles cloud Squeezy clouds, squeezy clouds. Um, I actually quite like these actually. Um, these are really nice. Um, these are one twenty-five each. Um, I don't know if it's something I'd usually buy, like in a shop. I don't tend to buy much sweets anyway. Um, but then we've also got all oh, these are cool dessert, dessert skittles. I've never seen those before. Um, got strawberry ice cream, chocolate orange cake, blueberry tart, cherry cheese cake and lemon pie. So they look really really nice. So yeah, I'm incredibly happy with this haul. Um, I will literally try each and every one of these this time. So yeah, it's a really nice box. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. So we've actually got fourteen items, which is the most I've ever had actually. But it's usually about twelve. Um so we do have fourteen this time. So yeah, I'm really really happy with that. So, that. so thank you so much for joining me again for my little unboxing video. Um and I will be back again very soon I believe. I don't really know because I have like uh, a friend, friends around at the minute um, that are staying for a couple of days. I asked them what they wanted for dinner because I said in my last shop I wasn't going to do a food shop but wasn't expecting them to come around <laughs> um, and they want my chicken roast dinner because people really like my chicken that I make. Um, so yeah, I did a small little mini out of the shop, it was about 40 quid. I don't know if it's really worth showing, but if you do want to see it, then let me know it's coming tomorrow. But I don't imagine that would be a very long video, so I don't know if you've got the point. But um, yeah, it's just a little, I'm doing like a chicken roast dinner and jam roll curry tomorrow and a trifle. Yeah, I think that's it. Um, but yeah, again, thank you um, so much for watching and I shall see you again very, very soon. Bye-bye.